Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, today we're diving into one of the most powerful marketing automation platforms out there, Adobe Marketo Engage 2025. Whether you're a total beginner or someone switching from another tool, this tutorial will walk you through everything you need to get started step by step. So we will cover campaigns, automation, lead management, and even a sample workflow. So grab a coffee and let's jump right in. What is Marketo Engage? Let's start with the basics. Marketo Engage is Adobe's marketing automation platform, and it helps you automate email, marketing, nurture leads, score prospects, integrate with CRMs like Salesforce, and analyze campaign's performance. It's mostly used in B2B marketing, but B2C teams use it too, especially when engaging longer customer journeys. It's not exactly a beginner level tool, but once you understand the flow, it becomes very powerful. Why choose Marketo Engage? So why pick Marketo Engage over other marketing automation tools? It offers advanced personalization at scale. You can tailor every email and landing page to your audience segments easily. Its integration ecosystem is huge, especially with Adobe Experience Cloud and Salesforce, making your data flow seamless across platforms. Marketo supports multi-channel campaigns, not just email. Think social ads, SMS, and web personalization all from one place. Plus, the platform is built to handle complex customer journeys, so it's ideal for businesses with long sales cycle or multiple touch points. This makes it a powerful choice for marketers who want to automate but also maintain control over how their messages reach prospects. Getting started tips for new users. Before you jump into creating campaigns, here are some quick tips. Set clear goals for what you want to achieve. More leads, higher engagement, or nurturing cold prospects. Spend time organizing your marketing activities folder structure. Need folders? Save you headaches later. Make use of smart lists yearly. They are dynamic and update automatically based on your rules. Don't be afraid of experiment with the email editor and test different templates. Set up a few basic reports so you can track what's working from day one. Taking the time upfront will pay off big when your campaigns start rolling. Navigating the Marketing Activities module Let's take a closer look at the Marketing Activities module. This is your Campaign Command Center. Here, you organize all your marketing programs and assets. You can create folders to separate campaigns by product line, region, or team. Each product holds related emails, landing pages, and smart campaigns, keeping everything tidy and connected. Use the calendar view to see scheduled campaigns and avoid overlap, and the activity log helps you track changes and who did what but so it's perfect for teams. Getting comfortable here makes managing even large scales marketing much easier. Creating dynamic smart lists. Smart lists are the backbone of targeting in Marketo. They automatically update based on criteria like lead behavior, demographics, or engagement. For example, create a smart list for leads who opened last three emails or contacts from Europe interested in product A, combine multiple rules with and or logic for precise targeting. These lists power you smart campaigns, emails, and reports, so mastering them is key. Pro tip, use smart lists to exclude certain contacts, like unsubscribed leads, to keep your lists clean. Logging in and understanding the dashboard. Once you log in Marketo, the dashboard might feel a little intimidating. Don't worry, I've got you. So you will see the left side navigation, which includes marketing activities where campaigns live, database, this is your lead database, design studio, where you create assets like emails and landing pages, analytics, reports, and dashboards, admin where integrations and user role live. Think of it as a marketing headquarters. Everything from here branches out to your campaigns. Creating your first program. In Marketo, everything starts with a program. 
It's kind of like a follower that holds a campaign. So let's make one. Go to market and activities, right click your workspace, click new program, name it something like welcome campaign, choose email as the type, channel, email sent. Boom, your first program is live. Inside this, we will add emails, lists, and smart campaigns. Creating and sending an email? Now let's create your first email. Inside the program, right click and choose new local asset, select email, use a starter template or create from scratch. Marketer's email editor is drag and drop. Add your logo, some text, and a CTA. Don't forget to adjust a subject line, set the sender name and reply to email. Once done, approve the email, then we will schedule it using a smart campaign in a second. Creating a smart campaign. Smart campaigns are where automation happens. Here's how to create one to send an email. Inside your program, click new smart campaign, name it send welcome email, then set up three tabs, smart list, add trigger like add it to list, flow, add send email and pick the one we just made, schedule, and then it's activated. And then Marketo listens to the trigger and fires out the email like magic. Managing leads and lists. Next up, managing your database. You can import a CSV of leads, create static or smart lists, add people to workflows. Smart lists are dynamic, like everyone who clicked an email in the last seven days. Also check out lead scoring. It lets you assign points based on behavior, so it's super helpful for sales teams. Measuring results with analytics. Go to analytics tab. This is where you measure what's working. Email performance reports, campaign reports, landing page metrics. You will see opens, clicks, conversions, and more. You can even send reports to your team automatically. CRM and integration. Marketo integrates well with Salesforce, Microsoft Dynamics, Zoom Info, and Adobe Experience Cloud. Integration lets you sync leads and activity between your marketing and sales team, so keeping everyone on the same page. Pro tips for beginners. Before we wrap up, here are a few beginner tips. Always test emails with sample leads. Use naming conventions for programs and assets. Don't overcomplicate smart campaigns, so keep flow simple. Build reports from day one so you can see progress. And explore the Marketo community forums. They're gold, actually. Building a landing page in Marketo. Now let's quickly look at how to build a landing page. It's super useful for gated content, event sign up, or lead captures. Go to your program, click new local asset, landing page, choose a template or start from scratch, drag in forms, images, and text blocks, add a form that connects to your lead database. Once you're happy with it, approve and activate, you will get a shareable link to use in emails or ads. Tip, always A and B test landing pages to improve your conversion rate over time. Using tokens to personalize campaigns. Ever wanted to say, hey Sarah, in an email automatically? That's where tokens come in. Tokens pull in personalized data like first name, company name, or maybe program name. Here's how to add one. While editing your email or landing page, click into your text area and insert a token using the toolbar. Just make sure your data is clean in the database. If someone's name is missing, it will show blank. Where to learn more, free resources. You've made it this far, now what? Here are free resources to level up your Marketo skills. Marketo Nation Community, Adobe Experience League Courses, Marketo YouTube Channel, Free Trial Sandbox for Hand-On Practice, LinkedIn Learnings, Marketo Tutorials. Bonus tip, sign up for News Taylor for Marketing Ops Professionals, they often share real-world tips and workflows. Alright, you've just taken your first full tour of Adobe Marketo Engage 2025. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more beginner-friendly marketing tech tutorials, and drop a comment below if you have any questions, I respond to everyone. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.